Welcome back everybody, this is Hunter Smith Outdoor Freaks. Well, this uh, video here, Clayton, he shoots himself a nice little late pointer. We're up north again. Uh, I tell you, he wasn't in the stand 30 minutes. Literally, he left, we left the camper basically the same time. I went to another spot. I walked back, I decided I didn't want to hunt it. He said there wasn't nobody else there. So I went ahead and I come back. I sat sat over there, you know, same area he was. I ain't gonna say where, but same area. And uh, where you come down and it opens up, they kind of tease off. You can either hang right or left. He he went to the left side. I was like, God, I won't. I ain't gonna mess nothing up for him. So I went on back to the right where my, you know, I shot my buck two, three years ago, two or three years ago, and. Uh, I got set up, I got my camera finally set up and everything, and I sat down in the tree and I looked at my phone, I had three missed calls from him and two texts. One one of his texts said, uh, call me, and then the next one said I shot an eight-pointer. So, I called him back, I asked him, like, man, can we at least sit another, at least an hour, just so this way I can see if I can't rattle in a buck or, you know, just see something. He's like, yeah, that's fine, we can sit till the dark. Well, me, I didn't want to be, you know, that guy to make him wait, you know, wait for be four or five hours so I went ahead and got on down I called him I told him I'm on my way over to him so by the time I get there he should be getting out of the tree well we get there we go we start tracking the blood and stuff and he, he was pretty excited so here it is hope, hope you all like it like I said it, it isn't ain't the greatest, fo uh, greatest footage he was using just like a knockoff GoPro it did the job but you know the sun it didn't help the sun was right right in front of his face so it kind of it, it kind of made it blurry but I'll, I'll show it to you uh he just he was excited so that made made the whole hunt that you know that much better as soon as we got got him it took us about an hour and a half two hours to drag him out get him in the truck we went back hooked the camper because he was going to stay you know the next day which as you can tell i got face paint still on my face because i just got back from the woods myself but uh we ended up coming home last night, uh, and then since he filled his buck tag off there, there wasn't no reason to make him stay up there. He was excited at his first, you know, nice buck. So we come back home, and yeah, I went down the river tonight, which went real good. But here's his video. Hope you all like it. Well, there was a video. I can tell you, the video wasn't the greatest, but the sun was, you know, shining right in the GoPro. So that didn't help matters out none. But uh, next clip, we're tracking the deer. Bear with me. I was giggling a little bit. He was, you know, we was both being kind of loud. It doesn't help all the leaves on the ground. But we was both pumped. As soon as, as soon as he seen him, that grin, that made the whole trip right. Oh yeah, look at the bloody blood. Uh-huh, hey. Ah, oh, look at the grin. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> you can all do it.